Okay, what I've got today to show you is an old Harmony, all mahogany. This is a 1960-something Harmony H165. It is solid mahogany top, sides, and back. Probably a poplar neck. Original tuners. Original nut, inch and three-quarter wide. Fretboard is most likely Brazilian rosewood is what they used because it was abundant back then. Bridge used to be a Brazilian string through bridge, but it had a crack, and so I replaced it with this pin bridge, another rosewood belly bridge, East Indian. Underneath, it's got a maple bridge plate, very thin, about tenth inch thick, just about the footprint of the bridge itself. The real good part about this guitar and my resto mod is the X bracing. So this now has a forward shifted quarter inch scalloped Sitka spruce brace pattern with a single tone bar down the middle to let the top really sing. Um, came to be in pretty decent shape, needed a neck reset like all of these old harmonies do. Um, had a couple of cracks down around the butt where this has been lifting from the end block and so I cleaned that up, added this edge burst finish to it just to make it a little bit different and it's got a hand rubbed oil finish on there. The fretboard extension has been planed down to counteract the hump that you get from having a neck reset at times, so it's nice and tapered down. Uh, frets were in decent shape. They're the original brass style frets. So this is these are becoming kind of a passion of mine. These old harmonies are all American built, made for Sears and Roebuck back in the day when we went to Sears for everything back in the 50s and 60s. And they're really good wood, it's just they put so much big, thick, heavy ladder bracing in them back in the day that they just sounded terrible. So by ripping all that bracing out, I pull the top or the back, depending on the model, and I replace all the bracing and get them to sound pretty good. It's got decent string spacing for doing finger style. Clapton fan, but Also sounds pretty decent with a pick. Anyway, 
I'll have it up here on my reverb site pretty soon. This is just sort of the unveiling. I just finished it up, and I'm going to let it sit for a bit and make sure everything is settling in right. It's got a lot of saddle left on it, so plenty of room for, you know, if the neck starts to bend up like these old poplar necks will, you can always lower the saddle and keep bringing it down because it just had a neck reset. And I think it's kind of a one-of-a-kind. It's sort of a street master ish look. Definitely has some wear and tear and patina on it, but I like to call that mojo. We got a little bit, you know, there's some rough edge up here, like I said, down on the butt. A couple of old cracks that have been repaired. Those are all cleated and glued inside. But other than that, she's a pretty clean thing, and it's beautiful mahogany wood. All American. Back in the day when everything was made here. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. See ya.